It's a crystal. Mm -hmm. What color is this crystal? It's white. Mm -hmm. And there's other colors. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this crystal. How are you associated with this crystal? It's part of, it's part of my being. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And it has all the colors in it. How does it feel to be this crystal? It feels natural. It feels mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. And tell me, as a crystal, what do you know? I know. I know all the connections. Mm -hmm. I know all the lines of connections. There's streams of connections from the crystal. So let's see which connections you have and where they go. They go all over the place. They go, they go wherever I want to go. Mm -hmm. So where do you want to go today to get the information you're looking for? Mm. You have access. Which connection will you be selecting? The white, the white, the white path. Mm hmm So tell me what happens when you connect with that white path. It's like a crystal door opens, and I can walk through into the white. Mm hmm What happens next? There's a lot, there's all white, there's all white beings in there. Mm-hmm. What do these beings look like? They, they're really tall. Mm-hmm. And they have, they have angular faces. Mm-hmm. Who are these white beings? They're part of the... They're part of the founders in the Elohim. Mm -hmm. What information do they have for you? That this connection is... the energy that What about this energy? It's the energy that um, is the transformational energy Describe it it's, for me. It's it's source energy through the beings, mm -hmm. and it comes down and and it transforms. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of transformation is happening at this time? <laughs> it, it, it goes into the cells and it upgrades the light mm -hmm. in the cells. 
DNA. It clears and and uh, it clears and increases. What does it increase? It increases vibration. Mm -hmm. And it transforms the physical body into more light. Mm -hmm. And once it transforms into more light, what does that do for the person? It allows them to move into a higher, a higher dimensional path. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on right now as this light and energy is going through this body. It upgrades. And it brings, it brings the body, the physical body, into alignment with the soul's resonance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what does it do, <clears throat> for example, with all the blockages that this body has? Any energetic blockages? It'll move through mm -hmm. the blockages. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me where the blockages are? <clears throat> In the throat. Mm -hmm. What's causing that? <sighs> What's causing the blockages in the throat? The the parts that don't want it to speak. Mm-hmm. What parts are those? The parts that have held the the wisdom mm -hmm. until. It is right. The mm -hmm. time is right. Mm -hmm. Is the time right now? The time is right. Mm -hmm. So would you break open those blockages, allow that energy to flow through, and let's allow this wisdom to flow out. There's a lot of information that she needs to tell today. Allow her to vocalize that language. Allow her to flow. <laughs> Asha and Tak Shak and Sha 
when Tahasha and Sahaya as one sack cat and Juanta, she sat her truth sat. In your unsay and say, Shwai sit on chat and take a shan to a yahoo and scat and shawa high nigh all sat and frank to cat and santa in your hut and say. In that water sat and shan scat and in your unlaha your hut and wah in got a sun sank into hut shit or what in the sat and what <laughs> Let's one skate and she skin skin the wet ski. One scarf, she high. Who else? What scan shot and we're hind So now that she has said it in your language, <sighs> can you now translate all of that so that so many others can understand what that means? <sighs> If you are to give Linda this information, she needs to be able to know what it means. <laughs> what is she saying? What are you saying to her? It is the language that changes the molecular structure mm -hmm. and moves the energy through. to enhance the ascension, the light vehicle, and the physical body in merging. These this language, these forms become a a vehicle mm -hmm. for the essence of the source within the soul and the physical body to come together mm -hmm. in the way that the new human body elevates and escalates into higher dimensional states. Mm -hmm. Is there any discomfort? No. Mm -hmm. It's actually feels good. Mm -hmm. So what is she feeling in her body as she is shaking like a leaf? She's feeling mm -hmm. ec ecstasy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now is this ecstasy f is something that only happens when she is in the state? She can experience it. Mm -hmm. In what manner? She want to tap into this by choice. Mm -hmm. By knowing the experience. Is this something that she can teach others? Yes. So, she wants to be able to use all of her skills and talents to help other people. She wants to use this light language, star language, 
to be able to transform others. Yes. Is this her mission and purpose in this yes. life? Okay. So, would you tell her what is the reason she came here? What is her purpose and mission in life? To be a bridge, to be a transformer, mm -hmm. to be an example mm -hmm. of higher frequency, of soul essence in physical form. Mm -hmm. Anything else? And to move that energy through throughout the wherever the body takes her and throughout the world into into the heightened states of the various dimensional fields that dwell on the, on the Earth's plains and be conscious of the fields. Mm -hmm. Now why did Linda choose to be here at this time? What's going on right now? The the dimensional fields, the different dimensions on the planet are Yasha Shinsansa. <laughs> What does that mean? The oneness of all the fields and the layers of the fields. The oneness of the fields. The oneness is the fields. The layers of the fields are where the intention is put to experience what are in each dimensional layer on the Earth's plane, which there are many, putting the attention into the frequency, the different frequencies allows for an experience to be had. And those, the oneness of the fields allows for fluid movement between the dimensions on this planet and throughout the universes. And that's how the essence, the essential nature, moves and travels here and outside of here. Now, Linda came to this earth <clears throat> through adoption. Where did she come from? And why did she choose this family?
The family was chosen for as not to have attachments and as not to get too attached into the everyday in into relationships in families it's not it's not uh, necessary did she know that going in yes mhm so can we go back in time to the moment where she knew she was coming into gaia let's find out the reason she chose this life to bring the vastness of that light into the physical form into the body mm-hmm. in order to anchor that light into the earth and have access to the earth and all of the dimensional fields mm-hmm. and have the source vibrational essence available through this cone through the spiral through this um chunked downness into the physical mm-hmm. and have the connection outward and in out and in increasing vibration so why has it taken her all this time to figure this out <clears throat> it would it, it it would not have served to to know it was not time to know the origin she would have been too out of place mm-hmm. so she tells me that she has had experiences now a ball of light vehicle going into space what is this ball of light vehicle <laughs> this is a vehicle used when when entering certain dimensional fields mm-hmm. that require some type of body or some type of physical form mhm not all do so where is she going does she need this body oh she will go many many places as an ambassador mm. bringing information to others bringing information bringing the light of transformation mhm to other existences that is in align with her in alignment with her purposes and missions there are many hm would you tell her about some of these other missions she will go to other worlds when there are times of change mhm and brings stabilization and the increased vibrational awareness of 
in through to help transform. Mm -hmm. Now she thinks that she also helps souls transition. Is this another yes. one of her missions? Yes. How does she do that? She always has a, we'll say, portal open mm -hmm. where it is available for hmm, um, for travel to other throughout through other dimensional phases mm -hmm. so she'll come into contact with in body or out of body and they can use this pathway hmm. does she create this pathway it is what she is ha ha so she creates this pathway for these souls? Yes. Mm -hmm. in, co in combination for what is necessary. Hmm. What else does she do? She will bring together the supposed light and dark. Light and dark is a reality in the oneness. Mm -hmm. The separation that is the seeming separation she integrates hmm. how does she do that she will bring that light the brightest light into the darkest place hmm. and in so integrate into oneness. Mm -hmm. When you say she integrates or puts it into this darkest place, does she do this consciously or does she do this in her sleep? When does she do this? She does it all the time. Hmm. She goes into areas that are dense and dark and integrates, brings that light, and integrates that darkness. Does that do anything to her? Yes. What's it doing to her? This body can hold some darkness mm -hmm. much more from when she was younger. Mm -hmm. As her consciousness expanded, her ability to transmute increased consciously and the vibration of the body increased since 
childhood mm -hmm. and allowed for allows for transmutation through mm -hmm. through that pathway mm -hmm. before there was a lot held mm. is there anything build, being held now she has done conscious work mm -hmm. there are still embedded darkness mm -hmm. where is this darkness embedded in the In the reproductive in the sa area? Yes, yeah, sacral mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. And why is that being held there? Did she put it there? <laughs> she has no need for mm -hmm. reproduction. Mm-hmm. So did she conveniently put it there for a reason? She has integrated the female and male aspect. Mm -hmm. Yet the darkness is held from residual judgment. Mm -hmm. Is she ready to release this darkness now? Yes. All right. So I'd like for her to use the same method she's used to be able to pierce that darkness with the light. The same thing she does. Just describe to me what she does as she pierces it and fills it with light. It is akin to an acupuncture needle mm -hmm. or a telescope mm -hmm. that folds in. And the light and the element of love goes in and around and spirals from the center outward. Mm -hmm. What happens next? That open pathway is available for, it's always available for the transmutation process of light and dark, dark and light. Mm -hmm. So does this darkness have a consciousness? Or did she create this darkness there as a thought form? It's a thought form. Mm -hmm. It's a thought form. When did she create this thought form? This is a form. This is a culmination of thought forms. A 
of many experiences. Mm -hmm. Not all from this planet. Yet, held in this body. Mm -hmm. Does she need to hold all these souvenirs in there? No. No. Is she willing now to release all of this? Yes. All right, so she can move on with her mission. So tell me how she goes along with this. What does she do to release them? She will fold in the light, folding into the darkness. The light folds in, and the darkness enlightens. And the element of love What does the love do for it? The element of love allows for an experience of love, for the vibration to increase mm -hmm. in tandem with the light. Hmm. Sounds like a little dance. It is. <laughs> Tell me when all of this has been released. The light and the dark are in a figure eight, mm -hmm. and then that figure eight becomes one in that oneness. Mm -hmm. And it is released. Wonderful. So how will this affect her health and attitude in the future about that area of her body? It will join. Mm -hmm. It will join with the heart. Good. Can we make that connection now, please? Yes. Thank you. Now, when she was a child, she said she had a fever, and she felt that she was being overtaken. She also had great fear of seeing entities, dead people. What was going on then? She was seeing entities and dead people. <laughs> Did she close something off during that time? She closed off with fear, mm -hmm. yet there was an intentional shutting down. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? She was in hiding. Ah. So she intentionally shut it off? What was it done for her? It was shut off for a purpose mm -hmm. to remain in hiding until it was time to emerge. Mm -hmm. And what allowed her <clears throat> to know that it was time? What was the alarm clock that set her off? <clears throat> she was set off. When the Earth's vibration became a certain level, mm -hmm. that's when it was triggered to flower. Mm -hmm. When did this happen? In the 80s. Mm -hmm. Was she the only one, or were there others that also felt that change. Yes, others felt the change. Mm -hmm. So how is that vibration 
affecting other people now? In many different ways. Mm -hmm. Would you describe them for me? Some that hold lower vibration will experience an, an intense, a an more intense lower vibration frequency hmm. from the influxes of light on the planet. Others who have cleared their physical bodies and their consciousness have elevated their consciousness will experience Earth on the higher dimensions. Mm -hmm. And how do you clear your physical body? What does that entail? The light that washes over the planet clears the physical body and you can intentionally clear the physical body with the application of light and the application of love. Mm. Is there any particular light that one should use to clear their body? Different bodies can use different light. Hmm. Light holds information. Light holds color. Light holds frequency. Light. Light holds sound vibration. All of that works to clear the body. So how does one particularly know what color one should use to clear their own body? How do you know that? Well, many people don't know that. Mm -hmm. And the different light frequencies, for instance, blue, mm -hmm. help to clear the emotional body. Mm. So if there's a particular emotion that you're feeling, the blue would help? The blue. Mm -hmm. For example, right now, I have a congestion in my head and my throat from an uncomfortable situation I was in yesterday. What color could I be using to clear? Yellow. Mm. Yellow for the mental body. Red to expand, to expand the foundation of the yellow into the recesses of the sinus. Mm -hmm. And green, pink, the higher frequencies of the light, the yellow, the red wash away clear, and the higher frequencies of the higher spectrum increase 
and uh, and elevate the area. Mm -hmm. into perfect vitality and health. Mm -hmm. So we can easily heal ourselves with the colors. <clears throat> and the vibration mm -hmm. and the application of love. Mm -hmm. So in Linda's work, does she use these colors? She does use the colors, mm -hmm. and she uses all the colors as the crystal mm -hmm. of the white, the, 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 all the colors at once when the expansion is around the person. Mm -hmm. And they are like laser lights. that find the areas that need attention. Mm -hmm. Now, when she first started out, she said she was a crystal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more a little uh, more about this? How did she go from being a crystal to being born here on Gaia? Where was she? She goes to different trans transfer stations mm -hmm. and assists with the creation of of the pathways in which souls travel. Mm -hmm. So she assists them going in and going back out? Yes, and going from one level of existence to mm -hmm. another. Mm -hmm. When they're ready, when a soul is ready to advance into a higher existence. Mm -hmm. So this existence that she has right now as a human being on Gaia, what level is this? This is a level of transition mm -hmm. from one state of being into a higher state of being. Whether it be in this dimensional field or another dimensional field, it works the same. Is Linda multidimensional? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So this is just one aspect of her. Yes. In this existence. Oh, yes. This is one aspect that has fully made these transitions many, many times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was she called to Gaia at this time for a reason? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because of the experience as a transitional because of her experience in transition, and she has been called as an expert. Ah, who called her? 
Source. <laughs> so Source knew that sh that Source could pick this expert. This is yes. Mm -hmm. She sent to many places. So this is one aspect that's helping now with the transition. Yes. The ascension of Gaia. Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you tell me a little bit more about um, this? This stream where she's from, would you say she's from Source? Yes. And um, get some more information about Gaia's ascension. She is a Source stream that she is a direct connection with Source that streams through the first aspect and through the Elohim and the founders and the Christed beings that are so many uh, collectives mm -hmm. that stem from source, the collectives. She streams through them all. And then comes comes an an aspect into the physical, and oh, I have to go to the bathroom. All right, so I'm going to touch your shoulder. You can open your eyes when you come back. You can return to the same state. There you go. When you're ready to. Continue with the explanation. Go ahead. About how you work. So the source streams come through and can be utilized in this plane of existence. Mm -hmm. And that is intentional as if, as when she may be doing a session or when she is walking amongst every, everyone in the world, mm -hmm. it's, it, it, things have, things are within her nature and just, it, it's always happening. Mm -hmm. When she is walking amongst people, does she give anything up from herself? Or is she always connected? Always connected. Okay, good. So can you tell her a little bit more about these groups that she's associated with, that she goes through, the Christ consciousness, the collective consciousness groups, the David kingdom, and the Celestial Councils of Light? We talked about the Elohim. Would you talk a little bit more about these? The team, her council, mm -hmm. there's one from each council. Mm -hmm. There's one from the the uh, the earth's mm, the earth's um, nature mm -hmm. just be the, the 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 devas the there's there's an element there mm -hmm. there's a
oh, there's the white beings with the angular faces. Mm -hmm. Who are they? They are the founders. Hmm. What do the founders do? They create species. Hmm. They have created and recreated. Specifically for embodiment of Christ conscious beings. What kind of species are we talking about? Are they animals? Many species, human species. Mm -hmm. um, Beings of other worlds, mantis beings, are these beings <clears throat> what we what, what we consider, consider good beings of the light, or do they have both? Yes, they are of the light, and they have a choice hmm. to incarnate into denser, <clears throat> dense vibration, mm -hmm. what you would call the dark. Okay. So even though the founders have created all these species with Christ, uh, for Christ's consciousness, mm -hmm. they, they have a select, they can ch select themselves. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they don't, they don't interfere. The council that we're talking of is mm -hmm. does not interfere. Mm -hmm. It is in alignment with universal law, the law of one. Mm -hmm. That allows for the expression of dark to be, as well as the high, the highest expression of light. Mm -hmm. Are there any others on this council, or the ones that she deals yes. with? Yes. There are other beings uh, from other star systems, mm -hmm. from other universe. Because of her travel, because of her... She travels, and this collective was created for the purpose of assisting in worlds in transition. Ah. Is that ours, Gaia? Is yes. that one of us? Mm -hmm. Yes. So are these, this council specifically uh, created for this transition? Mm -hmm. And transitions of other worlds. Okay. Are there others going through the same thing at this time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, this transition of Gaia, is this something that they see as positive? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, positive. So, what is it that Gaia is actually doing? What is this transition all about? It's it's really not a transition. The experience of it is a transition. Ah. The the uh, the creation already is. Mm -hmm. The fruition, the fulfillment has already happened. Mm -hmm. It is already. Mm -hmm. It is in existence. It is the uh the point of focus of the experience that deter that when you go into a a point of time mm -hmm. space uh, you can have the experience of a transition 
as you go pinpoint and go deeper into density, mm-hmm. experience becomes more. Mm-hmm. So who is the one that's actually experiencing this transition? Has You say Gaia has already transitioned? And the and has not. Ah. <laughs> there are aspects that... There are levels of, of, of earth. Mm-hmm. There are levels of earth that... Um, that seem to not have transitioned mm. yet they already have transitioned in the in the um when you get into a field of a, a field of awareness that experiences Mm -hmm. it seems like there's a transition but it's all existing now yes okay now they talk about the new earth some people talk about one new earth some people say there's many new earths is this what we're talking about yes the layers of um Mm. experience of dimensional yes layers of experience relate to the layer of dimensional frequency that you vibrate with Mm. and that's some people are aware of many Mm -hmm. some people are only keyed into one Mm -hmm. and that's related to where they're where they vibrate where their frequency is held okay now do these different experiences of earth shall we call them, to make it easier. Do they look different? Do they feel different? Yes. For example, would a new earth, one of them, look exactly like where we are Mm -hmm. right now? Would a new earth look totally different than we are right now? Yes. Okay. Is there one that's ultimate experience where... The earth has totally transitioned. Yes. Mm-hmm. What does that earth? Yes, look that like? is the crystal. Ah. That is the crystal. That is the, uh, oh, interesting. That is the, the, um, the earth that exists. In a fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional experience. Mm-hmm. What does it have to do with the crystal? The earth is becomes crystal. The earth is the crystal. Yeah. The earth is vibrating in the crystal uh, uh, phase. So do we as should we say humans need to be at a vibration of a crystal yes Mm -hmm. in order to experience that earth okay how do we get to that your soul would have chosen that Mm -hmm. and you would you would get there Mm -hmm. you would transition either you even if your soul chose to go there you may or may not take your body Mm. body's optional Hmm. so how do you live on the new earth without a body just as you do when you when you leave this body Mm -hmm. you you would exist as a um, a more light form. Okay. But some can take their body if they want to. Yes. Mm-hmm. Will this body function the same way? Will we need to eat, breathe, sleep on this new crystal earth? You can. You can. You can eat. You, 
it's not necessary to eat. It's not necessary to... It's a perfected body. Okay. It's the, uh, the, the, the perfection of the physical into those, uh, higher, into those frequencies. Those, mm -hmm. it's a perfected body. It's a body that doesn't, um, it's not high maintenance. No. Mm -hmm. So when we started this session today, you were charging up Linda with a lot of energy. Is this part of this changing her body? It is. Mm -hmm. And how does someone who does not have this amazing connection to source, how do they change their body? The frequencies that are waves of light that are, and, 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 and uh, sound that are washing over the planet because of the the time that it's in in this particular experience mm -hmm. serves that purpose okay is there anything that we need to do consciously to raise our vibration yes intend to intend to raise the vibration mm -hmm. align yourself with the higher frequencies of source energy, align yourself with the frequencies of the higher aspects that work, that are always working with you in raising your vibration. So the, uh, that it's almost like the funnel that comes down into this physical body, into this density, this is available. Hmm. Does one have to be in good, in a good mood, for example? Because there's many people who are depressed, who are sad, who want to go home, who don't want to be here anymore, <clears throat> but they want to go to the new earth. What would you say to someone like that? That you're thoughts and your frequency and your feelings um, will create your experience. Mm -hmm. So in order to ascend or bring yourself into a higher frequency of uh, higher frequency experience, you then have to choose for your thoughts and your emotions and your your body to align with those frequencies, with those vibrations, with that light, with that love of source, with the light of source. And there's vast amount of assistance. Mm -hmm. So it's really an inside job. It's an inside job. But it's you, But you can ask for help. Always ask for help. Mm -hmm. It's like the help is so available just it's right there mm -hmm. who are these that are helping us oh my goodness we so many collectives are here helping mm -hmm. uh the the christed beings are here helping there's many uh other uh beings the mantis beings watch send their energy <laughs> the 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 founders Oh, that's already done. The founders, uh, on that level, it's finished. Mm -hmm. You just, uh, you just tap into that done state. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever you're going through at this time in your life, you're not happy with your relationships. You're not happy with your health. You're not happy with your job. You need to tap in to ask for help. Yes, and intend it to already be accomplished. Yes. Mm -hmm. To already be done. Yes, and mm -hmm. then embody that um, that that outcome. Th the outcome and embody that point of reference. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, I remember Star Trek. Uh, Captain Picard say, "Make it so." You just need to 
allow it to happen mm -hmm. and set your intention and know that it's already yes and and if you f if you, like you're in a space where it's like so dark it's mm -hmm. like that's where the light beings help <laughs> that's where it's like oh call in the light beings they're the light which is your light mm -hmm. immediately will transmute that dark will assist in elevating and integrating like that talking about the integration of the light and the dark mm -hmm. into the one that's that's how you do it that's how you do it pretty easy good so clear my sinuses now mm -hmm. <laughs> very good now we talk about um, I talked to her about her job her career she does many different things right now She's doing property management, real estate, and then she's doing the biofeedback. She likes them all. What should she focus on? She can do them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, I figured. <laughs> she chooses to do them all. Mm -hmm. um, she's already, her purpose is, is being fulfilled. It's, it's, as, as that transition, as that, uh, that transition expert, that is her embodiment. That is, she can do that through sessions with others. She mm -hmm. can do that with with people as she's in their homes, mm -hmm. and she can help people tr assist in their transformation, buying them a home, mm -hmm. or buying their home. Yeah, it's an innate thing. So she just has to choose. Yes. What she wants to do. What about hypnosis? She was thinking of taking the class with me and Antonio in September. Is this something that would benefit her? Yes, it will benefit her ability to communicate and um, with her clients. Mm -hmm. Now, we had talked about um how she does her session now should she be utilizing for example the healing chamber to help reconstruct their body should she be yes. more vocal about this yes mm -hmm. so tell her how she should be doing her sessions what's the most she can put into these sessions to make them better and effective The way she was communicating was through, too much through, the mental process. Mm -hmm. She can bring in the master mm -hmm. and just directly transmit. Good. And in through that language speaking mm -hmm. with people everyone will be everyone's a, in wherever they are in their progression mm -hmm. that master will know how to speak just like the Being with the language of light would speak through her. Mm -hmm. She can allow the master, which is the culmination of her counsel, her mm -hmm. um, her team, her team, to come in as one and speak through. So she'll be using this light language throughout yes. her sessions. Has she been doing it now? The geometries 
the forms she uses. She has not put it all together with vocal geometry, light, and the application of love mm -hmm. all in one uh, form, all in one outlet. Mm -hmm. Now, will she receive instruction on how to do this, or does she need to just be in a trance state and allow it to come out? She can put herself in a state that will allow it to come. Mm -hmm. She has not done that. Okay. Do you think that with this experience today, that this will allow her in the future to put herself into that state? We will assist. Very good. Thank you. Is this what is meant by working on the front lines with her clients? Working on the front lines is that piercing into the densest, densest vibration and show, showering that with light in order to allow for the movement of souls through or their choice to stay. That being on the front lines is the It's going to those darkest places with that vastness of light. Mm -hmm. And when she's working on the front lines, is this with clients or is this in during her sleep state? It's usually interdimensionally, mm -hmm. although there are times with a client she's not conscious of that the the work that's going on behind the scenes is going to those darker places within them that are alive mm -hmm. uh, And that's when the, um, the, the, the ball of light surrounding them mm -hmm. um, allows for the, those darkest places to be accessed in the recesses with the light, the colors, colors come into play with that. With that ball of light? Mm -hmm. Can you expand a little bit about what's going on with the clients with this spine? What does the spine and the bottom of the spine have to do when she it does her sessions? The <clears throat> has to do with the, the with the uh, the DNA, the ancestral um, memory mm -hmm. within the DNA in the spine. Is that where it's housed? throughout the body. Mm -hmm. The spine being one of the first portions of a human body to be come together, mm -hmm. to be uh, created. Yes. The, that, that light encoded DNA is one of the first places that that goes to. So when that ball of light goes down the spine, and expands around the body. It's like a a vision. A you can see those ancestral um, blockages, mm -hmm. or what would need to be attended to with with light. Mm -hmm. And that's when she would use her device. She does not need to use the device. <laughs> 
So that's just a tool, a little prop Shh, that yes. she uses? Okay. Mm-hmm. She had a question about that, if she should continue using it. She can. <laughs> if she's her own crystal? She, yeah. <laughs> she does not have to. She can, if it's comfortable. Mm-hmm. She... Does it help the client? It does. Mm -hmm. Some clients like to have something to tangibly mm -hmm. see. Yet the um, bringing all of it together in the session and being able to c communicate on, in a way, maybe you've using hypnosis techniques to get mm -hmm. a client into a state of state mm -hmm. or a state um, that she may have gotten her client through using the biofeedback device with the sound mm -hmm. she doesn't have to none of it has to be i mean <laughs> it's 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 good mm -hmm. i mean use the use the device don't use the device it's like bringing that into a form of function mm -hmm. in order to be um to be tangible and, and usable. It's like, oh, the light then becomes usable through the stepping down of the energy. Isn't it all, isn't it pretty much all intention? It is intention. Mm -hmm. It is intention. So she needs to just rev up her intention to make it more powerful than she. Yes, and mm -hmm. and actually the 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 essential her essence is embedded throughout it all. It, so that's that it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a it's like a game. <laughs> it's like a play. It's like a it's like oh the transition. Yes, and it's really already done, and we're playing that we're transitioning. Mm. Okay. So we're just playing our part in it. We are playing our part. Mm -hmm. So all these people who are um, concerned about whether they're going to fall behind. There's no behind. It's all happened already. It's all, it's the, um, everyone is exactly where they need to be for their soul's choice mm -hmm. and advancement. Okay. So you pretty much have to just chill. It's already happened. Whatever your soul has decided. It's not a conscious thing. It's not a conscious thing. Okay. It can be. Mm -hmm. But th doesn't it seem like their soul kind of takes you in that direction? You're, you're going to go where you're, where you're <laughs> meant to go. Just like I'm supposed to be doing these sessions, mm -hmm. even though I didn't want to be doing what I'm doing at this pace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it seems like whatever you're supposed to be doing just gets flowed to you. Yes. Okay, good. Anything else that you would like to tell her about her method, her what she's going to be doing in the future with, with this light? Any other tips for her before we move on to her health? You don't have to do anything to make anything happen. It is innate. It is what you are. There, there is connection and there is no connection because you are it. Just know that. And this team that's helping her, does she need to ask for them or they're always there? They're always there. Okay. Good. Can she call them by any name? There are names that she can individually speak with them. Mm-hmm. 
She can call her team anything. Source team, mm -hmm. light team. It just does not matter. Okay, good, good. And just to go further on about this team, what does this team have to do, or in what area do, do they do they help source God, Creator, whatever you want to call this source of everything? They help to they part of their purpose is to direct where th where uh, energy goes where light goes where mm -hmm. energy light sound goes mm -hmm. mm. so are they are they kind of like sub creators or or gods in their own yes. right did it, did they ever have a form that perhaps humans recognize them as? Did they ever come to Earth? They are infused mm. in all of the energies of all of the dimensionals okay. dimensions. Okay. So when we pray, we pray to God, we pray to Source, the Universe. Do they hear our prayers too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they take action also? Or does it come from God? They are... They are directed. They do respond always. Very good. Thank you. Now, would you do a scan on her body? And let's see, now that her body isn't shaking as much, what health-related issue she has right now? We're... Right now, there's... Uh, there's pain in the wrists and the thumb. Mm -hmm. What's this, causing that? This is associated with the light um, that uh, that new reconfiguration of her body in light with the deconstruction. That she experienced in the ayahuasca yes. ceremony? Okay. The light coming through the heart, through the body, there is stopping here. Okay. Um, What's causing that blockage? That is a imposed, that is... blockage put there so she wouldn't use her mm -hmm. hands. Who put that there? When she goes to the darkest places, mm -hmm. there are beings that can see what she can do and will attempt to try to stop it. Okay. So can we give her now the vision of who it was that planted that? It wasn't a travel well, when she was in a light body, mm -hmm. and it was a mass entity mm -hmm. of dense vibration. Mm -hmm. Was not a form. It was. It was a. It was a. 
It was not in a form. It was a form, but it was not in a form. Mm -hmm. Was it intentional? But this form place it in there. Yes. All right. Then she will need to have that form remove it. Okay. So I have her face that form and request that it be removed now. That form is in transition. Mm -hmm. That form. <sighs> that form tries to stop her from being the the pathway. Mm -hmm. So being that that form tries to stop her, she must face that form. Mm -hmm. She must use her sovereignty and her light to face it and have it be removed. And tell me what's happening. The that is the f same feeling, that ominous feeling. Mm -hmm. That is that. Mm -hmm. So she needs to face it. In order, if she's going to be doing this light work, she needs to know how to face this form now. It is, it is a piece of her that believes that it is the darkness. Mm -hmm. So she needs to face this part of her. She is not the experience. Would she is not the darkness. Mm -hmm. She experienced the darkness. Mm -hmm. So guide her through this, please. This aspect of her must remove this blockage now. She is able to unfold the lightness mm -hmm. in around that darkness mm -hmm. and incorporate that within the heart and the light of source.
and they can all transition through. Mm-hmm. Is it flowing? It is. Mm-hmm. Where else were these blockages in her body? In her throat. Mm-hmm. How does it look now? Looks good. Mm-hmm. What about in her neck? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Was this all the same? It is not all the same. It was encompassed in the same. Okay. It's all being worked through. Wonderful. What was that bump on her head? That was a physical implant. Mm. That is. So what's going on with that implant? It's it's not. It's nothing. It is um, part of part of her team Mm. has an experiment going on where (laughs) they monitor the physical body through transition. Mm -hmm. Is this something that she should have in her body? It does no harm. Okay. And what's going on with the gums and the teeth? Is she having some sort of communication issue there? Yes. Uh What does she need to do about this so that she can transition this gum and teeth issue into a non-issue? Continue to work with the the geometry that she had put in place there. Continue to spin it, wash light through there, and it will continue to open. Can we ask for additional assistance, please? Yes. Thank you. What's blocking her memories? An ability to remember? I seem to hear a lot of that. What's causing it with her? She has different aspects come in and out. Hmm. Uh, they all work together, mm-hmm. and yet not necessarily... Mm. What's not necessary, the memories don't need to be there. So does that happen often with people? Do we have different aspects coming in and out? Not everyone. Okay, but with Linda, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. She will have different aspects of her, different parts of her team come in at different times. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, when she's, another aspect is, is off in another universe. Another, another job? Yeah. <laughs> Shh, another will step in. They, they like to have access mm-hmm. to this, um, this dimension and they can bring in their different, um, expertise. Okay. When these different aspects are coming in and out of her, do people notice any changes in her? Not usually. Does she notice any changes? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. And it's confusing. What, what would be an example, for example, of something happening like this? Um, she will be walking somewhere and then not know why she's there. <laughs> Okay. Seems to happen every day for me. (laughs) And one just came in and out. Okay. Um, So when when she does this job, could it be a very quick job? 
or is it that there's no such thing as time? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I could be going into the kitchen looking for something and not know what's going on, mm -hmm. and then I have to walk back mm -hmm. to the bedroom to come back to find out. Yes. So actually there's a switcheroo there. Switcheroo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now when I come back to the kitchen, for example, do I know something else that I didn't know before? Did I pick up some information somewhere? Yes, you can. You you definitely can incorporate mm -hmm. um, downloaded information that way. Mm -hmm. That way you can also um, decode the light, that language. Mm. Okay. In and out. Mm -hmm. Will Will Linda be, be using more of this language? She will. Yes. Okay. Now, she says that she feels like a completely different person throughout this life. Is this what's happening? As her body increased in vibration, mm -hmm. different aspects would have their purposes fulfilled. Hmm. So, it's like... Uh, her own evolution would bring in different aspects for that phase hmm. of evolution within one life. Wow. So it's like having multiple walk-ins. Is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's really herself. Yes. Hmm. Is this different than a walk-in that's a completely different soul? Yes. Okay. Would you tell her about her diet? How is she doing? She's doing well. Mm -hmm. The more her body becomes light, yes. the le less she will need the sustenance from food. Okay. Although she does enjoy mm -hmm. the sensation, the sensualness mm -hmm. of, of certain things yet, um, it will just gradually transition okay but for example she loves cheese mm -hmm. should, she, should she continue eating cheese if she loves it or is that damaging there's it's not really damaging she can have it mm -hmm. um yet the lighter mm -hmm. things she puts in the, the more light filled things she puts in her body the more the rap more rapidly the body will Transform. Okay. What about wine? What does wine do to you? Well, if there are any darker aspects or any darker energies within the body that will allow the alcohol will allow them to gain ground. Ah. Mm-hmm. So um, you're opening up a, a door? Yes. Okay. So we have to be cognizant any time we put it out. Cognizant, yes. Cognizant. It's okay. Yeah. Just be cognizant of of what could be, you know. Mm-hmm. Hanging out? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Anything else about her health that we need to address today? She will continue to bring this body to a level of heightened light. Mm -hmm. There is a cap on what this body's potential will can be in the physical, uh, even in the higher dimensions of the Earth's physical. So that is why mm, aspects will come and go mm, when it's required to be in this body. Um, 
and even the higher dimensions attached to, not attached to, that are one with Gaia, there are places, there are fields of awareness that bodies don't go. Mm -hmm. So she will be attached, she will have, have that ability to connect, yet when she is experiencing those realms, she leaves the body. Okay. Is there anything else that I could have asked that I didn't, that you would like her to tell today? She will continue to go deep and ask and receive the, the answers. Mm -hmm. Good. And who are we speaking with today? Who is giving her the answers today? We are the one. We are the one. So <clears throat> may I ask before she awakens from this very wonderful trance to send us a blessing from the one. Yashwanse kashahansa, yalashense kwanse ahashis, wai shahaya nashikatan skats, walashikatan shasa hutsins, wans and sapache. As we go through our lives, we bring in more of what we are in connection with the one that is all. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Did you imagine anything like that? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Wow. How do you feel? I feel good. How's your body feel? It sure did tingle a lot. Oh, yeah. That was uh, quite a, a, a feeling. Mm -hmm. That was... Blissful? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like that charge. Mm -hmm. Charged. Unbelievable. Bliss charged, right? Yeah. You think we got all your answers answered? I think so. Yeah. Well, the more you listen to this recording, the more stuff is going to come in because yeah. you're so connected. Yeah. I mean, you're, you, you just put yourself into a trance, basically. I did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I helped a bit, but that's... You were in there real fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, too, when... Like, I, I, I know that when I go in a session, I definitely go in there, whatever. Yeah. 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 And you've got your team. Mm-hmm. You've got your team. Mm-hmm. That's great. <laughs> How do your hands feel? Oh, yeah. Me, oh, my goodness. Let me switch those stones for sure. Wow. Right. Let's switch this Woo. up. They're soaking wet. <laughs> How do your wrists feel? How does your they neck feel, feel? They feel better. Mm -hmm. You confronted. Something. Oh, wow. That You know what? That seemed like it was a... Um, a whole group, mm -hmm. like a big group. Big bullies? Group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that you have faced them, how do you feel about that? I feel good about that. I mean, I... Um, Empowered? Yes. I mean, I definitely um, the precursor was in those other that I, I had to face some things there too that were quite frightening. Yeah. But you know, it was like learning um, that th the way to shine the light, bring the light through and shine that love and that light. So, because mm -hmm. it just then dissipates. Yeah. 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 But being that this is what you're going to be doing and you're yeah. going to be encountering this, yeah. you had to learn Mm. To face it yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't use anybody else as a crutch. No. <clears throat> so you need to be able to face it, and you did, and you did beautifully. Is this something you want to share? This uh, session? Um, 
What do you think? I, th- I guess so. We'll take anything personal out. Yeah. 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 But a lot of it was basically how to ascend. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know? Okay. Yeah. How to, you know, help with getting your own self to a place. Yeah, right? It was, it was talking a lot about that. Yeah. We touched a lot, a lot of stuff. Memory. Why do yeah. people, oh, why can't people yeah. remember? Right. That was a really important one because that's one of the main questions that people ask me all the time. Why can't I remember? Oh, and I cer- yeah. certainly can't remember. Yeah. I thought there's something wrong with me. That's what everybody says. <laughs> and I, I tell everybody, when, when people leave the session, I don't remember. I don't remember what happened. Well, it's because it's a different aspect of me sitting here while I'm doing the session. That happens to me, too. I don't right. remember anything in so sessions, people, usually. Exactly. So people ask me, well, you know, what was the yeah. session about no, I don't this know. morning? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't remember who was here this morning. Because it was a different part of me. Yes. Here. Yes. Mm-hmm. So she comes and goes. Interesting that how that happens, right? In That's and great. out. So this was a great, great explanation as to yeah. why you're going to get your classes and you forget you know yes what was i looking for because you blinked out for a while right interesting right? it is right did fantastic <laughs> let me take these off of you okay oh. and you had to rush to the bathroom there oh yeah i think that um something physical had to be yeah yeah it's, it's, a, it's a release it happens yes. it happens to people it yeah. happens. Uh, the <clears throat> sometimes they, they have to go a few times, and they'll say, "I haven't had anything to drink since yesterday." Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How are the stones doing? Good. Yeah, those are good grounding stones. Yeah, kind of bring you back to uh, in the room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You did fantastic. How do you? How long did you think the session was? Uh, an hour. Yeah, around two hours. Stop. <laughs> Come on. That's crazy. Two hours. Right now. Holy crap. That's insane. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That did not seem like that. Yeah. It was like like that to me. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. You must be exhausted. No, I'm <laughs> You're exhausted. Not exhausted. My sinuses are draining now, which oh, is that's nice. Good. So oh. I got some some information on how to how to heal it myself. Oh wow! Do you remember that? The colors? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I I feel like a lot has happened during the session too with me. Oh good. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh All my right. god. Here we are. <laughs> so how did it go for you? Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, I feel like I'm still. Buzzing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like that's what happens. Such a what a sensation that is. Now you had spoken this language before. I did, but just recently, this is just like yeah. just started to happen. Yeah. And it's kind of freaked me out the first <laughs> time. I mean, it's a little freaky. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. You did it twice today. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But the second time was we actually got the definition of what it was. Okay. So, so it was good. That was good. And your body was all over the place. You felt good. <laughs> right? Oh, I did. Yes, when that was happening, there was no pain or anything. Mm-hmm. It was all like bubbling greatness. Yes. Yeah, it was yeah. really. So tell everybody how it felt. Oh, gosh. How it felt for the Yeah, en- for the, the, whole, the, whole, the whole thing. Ooh, well, um, it feels like. A part of you is backing up, Mm -hmm. and then another part is kind of coming forward. Mm -hmm. And it's you, though, but not the you that you normally tap into, (laughs) like in everyday walking around. Yeah. Like, would I describe it for about uh, this part of you is the is the one that gives advice. Yeah. Okay. When you're giving advice to someone, this wisdom. Right. just comes through and you start talking to somebody and you kind of sit back and go, where did that come from? Yes. Where did that information come from? And is it about you or about me that we're talking about mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. Because they, it's almost like this voice takes advantage of like you're listening now as you're talking and we're going to tell you a little bit. <laughs> yes. So they may, you may be talking to somebody about their diet 
and you know, well, you should be doing this and this and this, and then you kind of sit back and, and go, you're like, wait a minute, wait maybe a minute. I should be doing this, this, exactly, and this. Yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the voice that comes through. So when I explain to someone their higher self, what comes through, it's like it's the one that gives advice. Yeah. And when you tap into that, you go, oh, I know that voice. Mm-hmm. How did I come up with this? Mm-hmm. You know, yesterday I didn't know how to do this. Mm-hmm. How do I know how to do this today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're tapping into that, and yeah. I, almost everybody can relate to that. Oh, yeah. You just yeah, give yeah, advice yeah. to someone. So in this session, you're giving advice to yourself, so yeah. this voice is coming through. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And, you know, it comes through more and more and more now. And, and, and when you listen to this recording and you, and you absorb this more and more, and you realize what this voice is, you could tap into this all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the goal, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the goal because you're doing really important work, you know? So right now we are in Secaucus, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, this is my last day here. I'm oh. going to be going to Boston uh, tomorrow. And um, we I had an experience today, too, in that um, when Linda got here, um, I was kind of uh, feeling very congested. Um, I had had an experience yesterday, which was very... Um, kind of a traumatic experience in my family, so I needed to, um, you know, deal with that. Mm-hmm. So I immediately got congested because the situation stinks. <laughs> so it has to do with your sinuses. So today we did get some uh, advice on how to drain it, and my, my sinuses are now draining. Okay. So uh, this morning, when we started, it wasn't. Right, right. But now they are draining. I can feel them mm-hmm. like, like going through. So. It's, it's really miraculous stuff. You just have to believe, trust, yes, and know how to use so these key. tools that are really at our fingertips and our mind tips. I know, okay? right? It's yeah. Like we, we normally don't even go there, and then yet there, it's right there. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is right there. Mm-hmm. So would you recommend this to other people? Oh, my gosh, yes. And you think you're going to take the course? I think, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I think it would. You know, what else? You know, anything else to kind of... Get, yeah, you know, get that connection to help going. other people. You yes. know, anybody who is doing work like you are, mm-hmm. you're doing biofeedback and yeah, and the yeah. energy team. Yeah, how can someone contact you if they wanted to get some of this work done? It's so funny because I don't have a. I'm, I told you I don't even. I don't even have a website. Wow. I don't. So have, word of mouth right now. It's word of mouth. Okay. It is, and you know, I do. I do actually have. A domain, lindahinkley.com, but I haven't created anything okay. with it yet. <laughs> so we're, we're going to, to uh, w- when she activates this, yes. she's going to be uh, offering her biofeedback and her channeling mm-hmm. and everything else, all her energy work to people. So yes. I know everybody's going to want to um, have a session. Have a session with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And if you would like to have a session with me, you can find me on Um I... Right now, I'm not booking far in advance anymore. Uh, as soon as I have any sessions available, I'm going to send it out in my newsletter. So please sign up to my out-of-town page. Uh, sign up to the newsletter, and then when you see those links on that newsletter, sign up immediately because they go within minutes. They really do. So thank you for watching. I love this session. <laughs> it was great for me. It was great for you. Yes, it, <laughs> it was, was great for me. Yes, it was. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Mm, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, my gosh. Really.